I'm guessing you're on the other side of the Rockies. Um, are you guys a coastal state? A coastal state. Yes. 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 Okay. Who has a question they want to ask? Um, okay. Are they, um, are you? East of the Rockies. Yes. Are you a coastal state? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. We'll take turns. You're next, though. You're next. All right, next question. Do you guys have a Major League Baseball team in your state? Yes. Yes. You want to go, and then you'll be here. Okay, go ahead. Are you a coastal state? No. no. Okay. Okay. So no. I it down. All right. Do you have multiple major league baseball teams in your state? Yes. yes. <laughs> you had a question? Did you have a question you want to ask? No? Yes. Does your state have a shape like a frying pan with a handle? Did you hear no. that? Okay. Yep. Yeah, we do not have a state uh, shape like that. No. Okay. Thank you. All right, we're ready. All right, you guys are California. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are California. <laughs> Was it the tan? Was it the tan in the pool? <laughs> you ready? Okay. Uh, it, Who's the makeup? <laughs> That's just bronzer. <laughs> so we know they're east of the Rockies. Are you west of the Mississippi? We are. Okay. And we can now ask because they've already guessed our location, so now we just ask until. Oh, oh, we just keep asking. Yep, we keep asking. Are you a state that borders Canada? No. Yes. Are you a state that is considered a swing state in the upcoming presidential election? <laughs> I highly doubt it. <laughs> I would doubt it. What? I would doubt it. Yes. Does your state flag have a blue background? It does. Oh, okay. <laughs> the kids loved asking flag questions because they felt like that was an even playing field. Even if they didn't have any skills, they had pictures of the flags in front of them, and they were asking about animals. We have stars on it, you know, colors. So, very good. Does anybody else have another question? Does your state have a major baseball team? No. No. <laughs> Yeah. That, that's true. Yes. Does your state have a compass direction at the beginning of its name, north, south, east, west? Oh. It does. Yes. Yeah. I think that was a yes. Mm. Yep. So it's north or south Dakota. Okay. Or it could be in the in the middle. Well, North Dakota borders Canada, right? So, so. Yeah, so it's South Dakota. South Dakota. You want to ask them? Is it yeah. South Dakota? It is South yes. Dakota. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 I think we lost our sound. We can't hear you, but South Dakota. Yep, yep. South Dakota. Oh, very good. Oh, okay. And the winner. That was good. That was really good. And the kids. Is yeah. it Rapid City? Oh. No, it's not Rapid City. We're uh, East River. We're Sioux Su Falls. Oh, wait. Uh, I was like, there's only a couple big cities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then after um, what I've seen done and what we, we did as in the classroom is after they guessed their state, then you've prepared just a little bit about your your schools, your city, and even your state. And you can go opposite way also. And they usually have like a speaker who like takes turns. And at the bottom of that list of questions, um, there's like a, a paragraph that I kind of, you know, kind of spelled out but left blanks because then I was teaching adjectives. Like how would you describe California? What are words you would use? And 
what is one is one of our landmarks that you want to mention that we have a big landmark. So just an example, and um, that's where the kids were then, they get carried away, well, like, what's the time there? And what's the temperature? And what season are you in? And, you know, it, it got really interesting. But with kids, it gets a little bit longer and, you know, more questions. And sometimes they get kind of frustrated and stumped. But then they'll get a, a yes or a no, and they're like, oh, okay, it's over here. So that How did helps. you find the schools that you wanted to connect with? So finding schools, um, there's two websites. Their communities on Google Plus that I joined, and that's what I heard about at the conference. So there's Mystery Hangouts, and I think that's where I joined with you, right, Dustin? Yep. Was the Mystery Hangout community? Yep. And I actually joined. Say it again. I just joined like an hour before I, I messaged you, and so. Oh I was, wow! Yeah, it's perfect. That is me, and I just put it out there. I said. I'm looking for anyone who will do a hangout with me for some professional development with a group of teachers, July 29th, this time, who can go? And two people picked up on it. He was the first one, so I started working with him, and I had a backup even just in case it didn't work with the time frame because he just got out of school right now. He's still got kids. So um, it just worked out really well. Another, um, and we'll show you these communities. Another community was um, Google Hangouts for Educators. And that's another one that's um, even more in the bigger scope of not just mystery hangouts, but also connecting with foreign language teachers that want to practice speaking that language with another class. Um, meeting up with doctors, they're doing third world country studies. They want to meet up with a doctor in another state. Does somebody have, or another country, I mean, does someone have a contact? So they'll really just put out different things. Astronauts, we've had. A teacher who um, wants to meet up with engineers and have them, you know, give lessons to their class and have those experiences with firefighters. And that's something Dustin's going to talk to us about with uh, meeting other professional communities um, for the kids to be able to interact with them. Yeah. So, Dustin, um, did you want to talk about what you've used Google Hangouts for so far? Yeah, I've used it just a few times. Um, I did an interview over Hangouts, and then I also. Uh, Went to a Google Summit here about three, four weeks ago, and we met uh, a gal from Istanbul, Turkey, which was really cool to, to talk to someone from, you know, the other side of the world. Um, you know, some of the things that I, I would like to do with it, um, we work at a specialty school uh, where we're in session year round. Um, it's all special ed. Um, you know, we're the 1% of the 1%. You know, our students have those high behavioral needs or high medical needs. Um, so. They go to school year round because long breaks would, you know, they would lose their skill set. They need that structure, those types of things. Um, my classroom, I've got six young men, transition age, you know, 16 to 21. Um, four of them are nonverbal. Um, one of them wants to be uh, a fireman. So I thought it would be cool if I could, you know, get out there and do some networking and, and see if someone knows a fireman in know, LA or Seattle or Chicago or New York or something so that he could get that experience to talk to someone, you know, from another part of the country rather than just going down to the local, you know, fire hall and, and meeting with those folks. Absolutely. And I have a contact for you, Dustin, already with that. So I'll be in touch with you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, we were going to throw out some ideas just to see, um, maybe just what this experience has maybe sparked some other ideas from some of the people in here about what they could utilize Google um, Hangouts for. And I was sharing that my first Google Hangout period was with my mom, you know, just to have that communication with family that may not live close to you. I think it's just very impactful. But does anybody have any ideas that you're even um, thinking right now on hand that you can give Dustin and Brittany for how they could continue to use it? And especially even for this experience of our school, our school being able to talk. My daughter, my daughter um, lives in um, Connecticut, and she's the archivist for the for Connecticut College, the Connecticut College. Mm -hmm. And so, I was thinking, I want to do this with my kids, yeah. and not let them know who who it is. Although she and I look a lot alike, uh -huh. but maybe <laughs> make that connection. Uh -huh. But we usually do pen pals yeah. with her. Right. And this past year we didn't. So I, this this coming year, I want to do that and yeah. see if we can. Um, because that was what's an archivist, the kids have never heard, most yeah. people have never heard of what an yeah. archivist is. And she works with uh, digital and print, uh, mostly um, uh, media. Uh -huh. And, and uh, 
you know, uh, old records, books, things like that. Very so, neat. Um, and that's something, it's a, it's a, it's a unusual job, but, you know, you don't always need a lot of uh, oral skills, as long as, you know, they're pretty technolo technology yeah. And I have to say, even if a, a child is maybe shy in person, in front of this, you, you sometimes bring out a side of them that they didn't even know they had because it's not as scary. That person's not looking at you right in the face like, and you feel their presence. It's more of like, I'm in TV land, you know, like it's just, it brings out a different kind of side to them. Um, I was also thinking that pen pal, you don't want to lose that writing, you know, you don't want to lose that art, but yet maybe once a month or once a semester being like, let's meet with your pen pal. Would you like to ask something or do you want to meet that face that you've been writing to? Or maybe that's the end of the year kind of like, hey, let's now see who you've been writing to all this time. That would, that would be really neat yeah, too. Yeah, we did a virtual tour, not of her school, but when she worked in Boston at the USS Constitution Museum that is attached to Old Ironside, the ship, she okay. gave us a virtual tour. Of. Very neat. And so that was really cool. And they're like, oh, now I see what you're talking about. Yeah, right. That's not as the pin pal for the year, and then all of a sudden they saw oh, that's what it is. A location. Yeah. Really cool. Very good. That's great. If the kids are doing some kind of a research project uh -huh. and they wanted to yeah. talk to an expert, yes. would that be possible? Yes. Something like this? Yeah. What was that sixth grade teacher? His yeah. daughter his was. His daughter, she is a biologist or something, uh, and she used to come into his classroom and teach. So we showed how to use Hangouts because now she's away at college teaching there. So she's going to host lessons and broad and then actually have them recorded so we can have those as links on the site the page. So the lessons always there for the kids. So yeah. yeah, it just takes it if you know the right people, or if not, like Carrie said, you can join those Google Plus communities where you can reach out to people okay. that will do it. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Those things are more than happy if they can get the timing right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did. I wrote a letter to Chris Van Allsburg. I didn't get a response back, but I'm still waiting. It's only been five months, um, but I wanted to do a Google Hangout because our, our third graders had done a study of his books and had read at least five of the books and watched some of the movies to compare and to write about um, and had even tried to like change alternative endings. And I thought it would be so neat for them to finally meet the author and ask some questions and point out some of their things that they liked about the book. So, but, but contacting an author, I, I know that one of our teachers did contact an author um, at our school with her fifth grade class. So that's a great experience too. Well, that's it. Anybody else have anything? Okay. Yep. I gotta ask just for the sake of it, how is this different from Skype, which is out there also? Mm -hmm. This is, from my understanding, this is just a Google app where yeah. Skype is Microsoft. Yeah. Right. You know what well, I mean? I'm yeah. wondering if there's, there's a difference in in software where Skype's camera or Skype uses your camera on your device to tend to focus on maybe just one full one face, whereas this can more easily do a wide screen, which makes it easier to do it with with students. Dustin, do you have any knowledge about that? I don't. Um, what the only thing I would say why is our preference to use this in our district is because we already have a login. If you did Skype, you'd have to create an account. So right. that is the literal right. biggest difference. But you will, if you go on the Google Plus community, go with people that use Skype. So it might be beneficial to have both accounts. And you sometimes know, so. they'll ask that on the yeah. website. They'll be like, anyone willing to Skype with me? And sometimes yeah. I'm like, Google Hangout. And they're like, sure. It's because, you know, even Google make a, an account yeah. if you're not a, a Google school. And like a Microsoft 365 yeah. district, like Redlands is becoming it. They're probably going to use Skype. Yeah. You know, so that's yeah. kind of okay. yeah. where we're Google Hangout. Right. We're, we're trying to utilize more and more of the Google yeah. apps that are out there because obviously the suite is so available. We have it. Yeah. We've kind of allowed ourselves to find, as you said. Right. Yeah. Dustin, did you have any questions for us or anything else you wanted to share? I didn't. I, did, I just thought that uh, this was pretty fun this afternoon and it was nice yeah. to, to reach out and, and talk to somebody from across the country. So. Definitely. Thank you for the experience. And, and I think we're going to walk away with a lot of people being able to try it now in their own classrooms. Very cool. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. We'll be in touch. Bye. Yep.